Hello guys, here Ahmed and here is a new course on estate feedback control. Control. We are interested in the controlling linear systems of the following form. We have x dot equal a x plus b u and y c x plus d u. x is the state, u is the input, and y is the output. We consider that x is totally measured and we consider that the input is unbounded or there is no saturation. Why we use state feedback? To stabilize the system in closed loop if it is unstable in open loop, to accelerate its dynamics if it is slow, and to have a zero static error or unitary static gain in closed loop. One solution is to use u equal minus fx plus gr, where f is the state feedback, g is the feed forward gain, and r is the reference. So we have a system, we will close the loop with f and g, and this system will be closed loop system. So by injecting u in the above equations, we get the closed loop system equations x dot closed loop a closed loop b closed loop with respect to r u closed loop c and d with a is given a minus b f b closed loop is b times g and c closed loop and d closed loop in this video we have to find f so we will use pole placement method So the poles are chosen in closed loop, they must be in the left half plane, so to be stable. They must not be so far from their natural position, so do not affect the robustness of the control. And they must, be, they must not be near to the imaginary axis, so to avoid oscillations. In MATLAB, we can find f using the function acker, given the desired poles, so acker a, b, and poles, where poles are the desired poles, in closed loop. So the last point, we to have static zero static error, we can use this g, and this expression is given in the course. So let us return the example. We have to find a state feedback control with closed dynamics given by these poles p1 and p2 and in addition we have to find the feed forward gain such that we have a unitary gain in closed loop in MATLAB simulating implementation so we declare the states and the desired poles are given in p desire so i here is the imaginary we will use a curve, but before we have to study the stability of the system in open loop, so we have to find the eigenvalues of A, and we see that they are unstable. To find the state feed forward, state feedback gain, we use a curve with A, B, and the desired poles, and we have found this F, it is a vector. And we can find the feed forward gain g using the expression I will put minus c times the inverse of a minus b times f already calculated times b. Here I forgot to put c, I have to put big C, and we have also to put the inverse, so we find 1.6. In MATLAB, this is the system we have u and y, so system in closed loop. We have to put the gain f, the gain g. And we have to put the reference. So here I will try put the reference. It is a step function. So times g. And I will compare this g r times minus fx. And I will try to find, to look at the step with the output, with my scope. And here as you see, I run the simulation and I put 
a step function and we have a stabilization and the unitary gain system. For more information, see the description. Thank you.